let us look on to a question asked on based on chemical kinetics the reaction between a and b is carried out for a different initial concentrations and the corresponding half life times are measured the data are listed in the table the table is given the rate can be represented as options are also given here we have to find the order of the reaction with respect to a and b with the first second or third order we have to find the rate is equal to k into a raised to x into b raised to y x and y are corresponding order of the reactions a and b we have to find the value of x and y so for zero order reaction we know that rate is equal to k into a raised to zero that is uh, only k and concentration time equation is uh, a minus a zero minus equal to minus kt uh, from this if we are substituting a as a zero by two Uh, we can get the half life t half as a0 by 2k and for first order uh, similarly the rate is equal to k into a raised to 1 and uh, from this we can get the equation ln a is minus ln a0 is equal to minus kt and t half is equal to ln 2 divided by k or 0.693 divided by k and for second order rate equal to k into a square and concentration time equation is 1 by a minus 1 by a0 is equal to kt and t half is equal to a0 uh, 1 minus 1 divided by sorry 1 divided by k by k into a0 so here what we have to note is that for zero order a0 is coming on the numerator so when uh, whatever the concentration increases so for example if a0 is uh, concentration of a0 is doubled the concentration initial concentration is doubled if initial concentration is doubled t half is also doubled whereas uh, in the second order we can see a0 is coming on the denominator here if the a0 is doubled the t half will be will be uh, new t half will be t half divided by 2 that is half of the initial t half and whereas in the first order there is no relation there is no parameter of a0 uh, the t half is independent of a0 so from this Uh, this concept we can answer this question consider the uh, these are the equations as we seen consider the first two entries here the concentration of a is kept constant and whereas the b0 is doubled when b0 is doubled t half remain unchanged that that shows that in the the b0 is a first order reaction since it is having no effect on the t half and so the in the right equation a b uh, y is equal to 1 that is b raised to 1 and we have to next we have to find the value of x and for that the here keeping the concentration of b constant the we are varying a when we are uh, we take the double of the concentration of the a0 what uh, happen to the t half is t half is decreasing decreasing to 30 becoming half that is it is following the when we double t half is becoming half that is this corresponding to the second order kinetics and so b for x uh, in the right equation a raised to x x is equal to 2 so we got the equation k into a raised to 
into b raised to 1 that is option 3 thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel